how old was your grandfather when you were born? For me, my grandfathers were in their late 50s. For Harrison Tyler, his grandfather, 10th President John Tyler, would have been 138 years old, if he had still been alive. To put it another way, if you had been born in the year 2000, your grandfather would have been born in 1862, during the Civil War. I'm Bob Summers, and this is a presidential story. John Tyler was born on March 29, 1790, to John and Mary Tyler on their plantation Greenway in Charles City County, Virginia. George Washington had been in office for about 11 months. In 1841, Tyler became vice president under William Henry Harrison. Harrison came down with pneumonia and died after 31 days in office, making Tyler the first vice president to assume the presidency. By this time, Tyler and his wife, Letitia, had had eight children, seven of whom were still living. The oldest was 26, and three were under the age of 18. In 1839, two years before moving into the White House, Letitia had had a stroke that left her infirm. On September 9, 1842, she suffered another stroke and died the next day making for another sad first. She was the first First Lady to die in the White House. On June 26, 1844, John, then 44, married Julia Gardner, 24, and over the next 16 years, they had seven more children. The 15 total children for John Tyler is the most of any president. One of those seven children was Lion Gardner Tyler, Lyon was born on August 24, 1853, at his father's Sherwood Forest Plantation in Charles City County, Virginia, when the former president was 63. Later, Lyon married Ann Baker Tucker, and they had three children. Ann passed away in 1921. Lyon then married Sue Ruffin, who was 35 years his junior, and they had three more children. One of those children was Harrison Ruffin Tyler, born November 9, 1928, when Lyon was 75 years old, and Harrison's grandfather, former President John Tyler, would have been 138 years old. Harrison purchased the Sherwood Forest estate owned by his grandfather in 1975, restored it, and provided tours to the public. He is currently 94 years old. It's amazing to consider Three generations of the Tyler family have been alive for almost the entire history of the United States. Only three, over 233 years. And that is how our 10th president can have a grandson alive today. Let me know in the comments below if you can trace your grandfather back to the Washington presidency. I would love to hear your story. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe to hear more presidential stories. And please visit POTUS.com to learn more interesting facts about the presidents.